Hi everyone, this is Anil. Uh, in this video, I will explain a URL parameter called syspalm underscore media. So what is it? It's a URL par parameter that takes input as value as print. So when a user clicks on print friendly version from options, then this page opens up. So I'll, I'll demonstrate that. And then uh, I also searched within the platform uh, for, the, for UI macros that use this URL parameter and I found a list of them and also we will see some more options on how to print uh, uh, a, a page like for example an incident or any of the records uh, with, with headers and footers and background graphics and we also will talk about a support article that explains how to print logos when you're uh, printing a, a pay like a, again a document for example an incident and similarly there's also a chrome extension which i have not tried but it is available which also leverages this url parameter so first we'll look at uh, we'll look at the platform and see how the page looks like when you use this parameter so we'll open an incident list Let's go to incident and open we'll try to open this Now, if you see here, this is an incident record, right? Let's like populate some value. Let's save it. Now, when you click on this uh, user information and then click on print friendly version, then it opens up this page, right? Where you see that uh, what are fields you have seen on incident are available here the nodes, task SLAs, basically all the tabs uh, appear here, right? So now if you read the URL, you will see that there is a URL parameter called syspalm media underscore, syspalm underscore media is equal to print. So yeah, so that is how this uh, URL parameter comes into play when you are trying to uh, uh, print a record. Now similarly, when you're printing it, right, uh, like you'll see that it, it appears like this. But uh, when you are, you have an option to control like how you want to see this output. For example, if you uncheck this background graphics, then it, it prints like a, uh, a, yeah, it prints without any graphics. For example, uh, again, if I turn it on, you'll see that uh, all this uh, colors appear and then the, the background, uh, graphics up here for each of these tabs right but then if you uncheck it then they all will go away and then you'll see like a plain uh, uh, just the text uh, and then similarly header and footers so if you see here there's a header that is appearing called war and fraud which is my instance name and then date and time and similarly in the footer you'll see the url of the, the record right so if you uncheck that that goes away as well so which means if you don't want the url to print then you can control that as well now, uh, so this is how you can use these options to control what you want to see in the output. So this is the second thing I want to mention. Uh, now, similarly, you can also call this uh, directly in the URL itself, right? For example, you can construct a URL uh, and then you can uh, uh, you can see how the how this output looks like without having to click on print friendly version. You can directly use it, do it from URL. So the URL will look like this. So if you see here, the URL will look like this. And when you when you run this URL, you will uh, get that same page that we have seen before, which is a print friendly version. So if I run this here, you will see that uh, it brings up the same page like this, right? So this is my URL and how it looks like. So this is the URL. And then we'll see uh, macros which use this. So let's go to macros and search for XML containing syspam underscore media. So you'll see that all these macros use this uh, URL parameter. So let's look for maybe one of them, like kv underscore view underscore common header and toolbar. So here, let's search for this. So you can see that here, uh, you know, we are controlling like how the 
header and footer should appear uh, when you are printing and not printing it. So for example, if you are not printing it, then you are uh, like displaying some of these uh, HTML content. And then when you're printing it, you're displaying some of the HTML content. HTML content right? So let's look at one more example. Uh, let's look at this change request conflict progress. And again, similarly here, if you see, when you're doing a, when you're not printing it, you're, uh, you know, showing all this. So basically, this is how it is used, this parameter in macros, where you can say that, you know, uh, depending on the parameter which is passed, uh, for SSP minus comedia, you can control, like, how the, the page should appear. Uh, we'll look at one more example. Uh, Again, same here. So when you're not doing a print, then we are controlling like this. Uh, yeah, we, do, we are, uh, you know, allowing this jQuery and so on, right? Yeah. So that's the scope of this video. Let's do a quick recap, right? Uh, first is uh, this is a URL parameter as I mentioned, which looks like this. It takes a value as print, and this comes up when user clicks on the print-friendly version from options uh, from any record right, or any page that you are on in service now and as I mentioned this there's a knowledge article which talks about how to display logos in your print friendly version so let's also talk about that so this is the one so basically if you want to uh, include logo or HTML when trying to export video uh, then this article talks about that so if you see here they have included the service now logo right so it, it basically talks about creating a your macro and so on uh, and there's also a the utility, a Chrome utility called SN Report to PDF. I have not tried it, obviously, because it's not added to my Chrome. But as you can see here, uh, it also utilizes this feature, and it it uses that uh, to export high quality PDF of reports. Right. So yeah, that is about the scope of this video. Thank you for watching. This is Anil.